Kevin, everybody. It sounds like when I'm 40, obviously, you fucking lose. It sucks. <laughs> so, so happy to be here, guys. Yeah, one more time. Like, uh, start clapping right now. I love this guy. What's up, Ladies Cafe? How the hell is everybody doing? Give it, up, give it up for all your comics, your hosts, the bartender, the, the alcohol, the patrons in the back of the bar who obviously make way more money than the rest of us. Beautiful Mal Lookout. The one interracial couple left already. I see one black chick. She walked in and walked right back out. <laughs> see a black dude on stage. She was like, "No, not for me." <laughs> Goddamn. Right last time I see you, man, you were fucked up. Funny shit. You were fucked up. Everything you said slurred that night. It was a good time. Good time. There's way more people out here than uh the Johnny shithole and Max Pizza. <laughs> it's actually a great place. You all should come out. It's a really good time out there. Yeah, I had to plug his pot. I'll be there next week. Uh, I feel like a lot of comics come up here. You can't really hear them. But I guess because I'm black, it's, it's natural for me to be loud. <laughs> To all, the, to all the ladies that don't date black dudes, my credit score is not contagious. <laughs> Unless you fall in love. Is there anyone who feels sorry for Bill Cosby? Anyone? You? I don't know, man. Bill Cosby, he got a tough break. Bill Cosby, he was convicted of seven counts of sexual assault. That's 10 years of peace. 70 fucking years, all right? Now, I'm sorry, but at his age, if he can get up on her, he deserves to get off. <laughs> <laughs> they said that he would invite these women over for drinks and put pills in their drinks. I don't think that's how it happened, folks. I think what happened was some of these women knowingly went over to Bill Cosby's house for the purpose of drinking and taking pills. But in the defense of these women, if I knew Bill Cosby was going to be climbing on top of me, I don't want to be one for that. You know, it, it was particularly rough for Bill Cosby because you know, the news broke publicly that he was fucking WNBA players. I don't think anyone wants that. I mean, you see that chick? She was fucking huge. She's enormous. We're having a great time back there. I know where I'm going after this set. I'm gonna have a back. Better start paying down my credit cards. I always wanted to have sex with a midget. <laughs> that was a bucket list thing. It was a bucket list thing. I don't know if you had sex with a midget before, but there are no winners. Only losers. Everyone loses in that scenario. Sex with a midget. You go into it like, it's gonna be awesome, sex with a bitch. You see her, she sees you. You get inside of her, then you grab her by one of her legs. <laughs> sex with a bitch. It's a bitch, they're so tiny. It feels like at any moment, Chris Hansen should be kicking out of that door. a lot of shame associated with having sex with a midget. <laughs> so I'm fucking this midget the other day, right? <laughs> Not just any midget either, you know? I'm talking dolled up, you know, the works. 
Red lipstick, black mascara, white face paint, and a bright red nose that makes a sound. This is my kind of girl. And she was the type of woman that could make balloon animals. She took three balloons and made two Trojans and a diaphragm. You know, the good ones. That's how you know she's not a Catholic. So, she sees me naked and goes, wow, you're big. Then she takes it with these. Afterwards, she goes, woo, I couldn't do that on a regular basis. That's when it hit me. She just told me I have a small penis. A little person who's an expert on all things little. Sex with a midget. All right, you all been great. That's my time. Get the fuck out of here. Keep it going.